Hello to everyone, my name is Camilo Garcia. Uh, as per I told you uh, from the training sessions that we had some days ago, uh, I'm going to explain you this suggested uh, electronic device that is an electronic device that will help to each one of the workshops to make a complete diagnosis for all the EFI actuators of the motorcycles. So first, the first part of this video, I'm going to explain you uh, just the main features that this device has and the other part of the video, I'm going to start making testing and diagnosis for different ISCB bolts that we can find in our motorcycles. So let's start. So as per you can check, this is a simple device, a very specialist, specialized device that will allow you not only testing uh, all the actuators of the EFI system, we can prove ISCD bulbs, we can prove uh, injectors, we can prove ignition coils, we also can prove spark plugs, uh, and we also can prove any solenoid bulb that works uh, with coils uh, that the main uh, function has produced by coils. So, as per you can check, the connection of this device is very easy. We only need a battery of the motorcycles and make the connection in the positive line, the negative line, and we are going to connect the input device here. As per you can check, only connecting the device uh, is ready for working. I'm going to explain you what uh, these screens are for. So the, the first screen that this is a screen, uh, the, this digital screen that is in left, uh, red, this is a screen of voltage of output that you can use for making testing for maybe all the sensors that works with five uh, volts or 4.5 volts. So you can also make a direct testing for different sensors using this line here that is a voltage uh, regulated line as per your requirements using this potentiometer here in this side. So the most important point, uh, future of, of, of this tool is this LCD screen that you have here. As per you can check, there is two different parameters here. The first parameter in the upper side that in this moment is showing 40 means for the frequency. In this case is 40 Hertz. So you can use these buttons to make an adjustment of the frequency that you want to use for making testing on each one of the actuators that you are going to make. So as per you can check, you only have to press the button and make the correction or make the calibration of this device. I'm going to keep this parameter in 40 and that's it. But as per you can check, you can adjust as per your preference. The second line that in this moment is showing 30 is in percentage. And the second line is for the dotty cycle. The dotty cycle uh, uh, is also completely adjustable as per your requirements. Remember that it's import in percentage. So I'm going to let this dotty cycle in only 5%, just for making initial tests. Okay, so that's it. These other lines here, it depends on the device that we are going to test. So for starting, as per, I, I mentioned you uh, some moments ago, the other part of the, the video is only for testing using this device, testing ISCB bulbs. So for Euro 5 motorcycles, all the ISCB bulbs has a stepper motor, okay? The stepper motor, as per you can double check, this is the connector that you always uh, will check for each one of the ISCB bolts connected in the motorcycles. So the stepper motor is uh, made in four different pins, okay? Each one of the pins has a special function. As per you can check here in this little diagram, one pair of pins has for one coil. The other pair of pins belongs to the other coil. So internally, a stepper motor has two different coils, okay? So in this case, for this ISCB bulb of this motorcycle, you can double check that the pin number one and pin number four is for one coil. 
This means that from the connector point of view, the, co the pin number one is the one in the left side, and the, co the pin number four is the other pin that is in the other side. So the, these two pins belong to one coil of the stepper motor. And the other pair of pins, that in this case is the pin, is the pin 2 and 3, are for the other coil that from the connector point of view as the pins that are in the middle of the connector, okay? So, we already identified which pair of pins are for each one of the coils that are uh, inside this uh, stepper motors, okay? Remember that these pairs of connector or pairs of pins depends of, on each model. So some models, maybe you can find that some models, one pair of pins are pin number one and pin number two are for one coil and the pin number three and pin number four belongs to the other coil. So this is not the case, but remember that is always, always very important to, to double check first this information in order to continue the process to make a correct testing with this device. So, as per we can check, we already identified the pair of pins that belongs to each one of the coils of this stepper motor. And after you double check for this information, the next step is only make the connection in the same way that you find here with this connector that comes with the, this electronic device. So the two pins from the outside are pin one and four, belongs to one coil, and the other pins in the middle uh, belongs to the other coil. So I already made these connections, so the next step is only to connect. As per you can check, there is a, a slot here, a special slot, only for proving ISCB bulbs. So the next step is just to connect here, this, and that's it. Then the, we are ready to start making different testing for each one of the ISCB bolts that works with a stepper motor. So let's connect the first one. So let's connect the first one. Let's double check that this is really connected here with no problem. And the next step is using the other pairs of buttons that are here. One pair of button is to make the plunger going in the outside direction of the stepper motor and the other button will make goes the plunger in the inside direction. So one button for outside direction, other button for inside direction. So right now we are checking that visually the this stepper motor is working with any problem, is working good, but the mechanic testing that you have to do in order to double check that each one of the ISCB bolts that you are probing uh, from the mechanic point of view works with any problem is just to place it or put in a finger here in this part of the plunger and apply a little pressure in this direction in the direction of the inside of the stepper motor so I with my finger I just put my finger here in the plunger I make some pressure in this direction and I'm going to start making the plunger goes, go, goes, goes in the outside direction. So let's repeat again. I'm going to go through, and I'm going to start placing the button to go for the plunger in the outside direction, but I am making pressure with my finger in this direction. If making the pressure with my finger, the plunger moves with any problem, this means that the, from the mechanic point of view, this ISCB bolt is working with any problem, is working perfectly. So this is the test that you have to do. This kind of device will help you to make this testing uh, here directly in, in, in your workshop. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect this one. Let's try. The next one, this is a different ISCB from a different vehicle. I'm going to connect again here the, the connector, okay? And I'm going to start making the same test. As per you can check, the ISCB ball is working with no problem. 
yes and I'm going to start making pressure with my finger and double check oh Jasper you can check in some cases this ISCB bolt do, does not move my finger so okay so my finger as per you can check mm, this ISCB bolt has mechanic problems because only pl only placing my finger in this position the ISCB bolt will not move the pl the plunger anymore so this ISCB bolt has some mechanic uh, issues or mechanic problems let's double check for this one this is the last one that I have here it's for a different vehicle and I'm going to, to start let's uh, make sure that the connector is uh, well connected in the slot and oh, as per you can check this ISCB bulb as per you can check you can you can double check for the lights flashing yes but this ISCB bulb is not generating any sound is not generating any vibration so it looks that from the mechanic point of view this ISCB bolt is completely damaged so maybe if this is an important case that you have to double check if from the electric point of view this ISCB bolt is working with any problem so for this kind of electric double checking procedures I'm going to use really fast a uh, logic proof that this is a logic proof that I, that I made by, by myself and it's a very interesting device as per I show you in, in another session before this is a very important device that will allow you to make a, to make different electrical testing very quickly and very easy so we only have to connect the positive line here the negative line here as per you can check the the logic proof is now working so I'm going to connect the logic proof here inside one of the connector inside each one of the connectors just to double check that the ECU or that in this case this electric proof is sending electric signs correctly to the ISEB bulb so as per you can check I am pressing the button just to make the ISCB ball go goes in the outside direction and also goes in the inside direction and from the electric point of view the ECU or in this case this electronic device is sending correctly signs to the ISCB ball you can switch from to another different pin just to make the same testing and you can double check that the electric signs is correct is is working correctly so, so the problem is you can double check that in this case the problem is completely a problem a mechanic problem that you have only have double check it with the, using this kind of devices so as per you can check you can make a different proof with all kind of ISCB bolts I have with me this another kind of ISCB bolt that is an ISCB bolt that is used not in Euro 5 motorcycles maybe in Euro 4, Euro 3 motorcycle because maybe this is a, a, an old technology different than stepper motors ISCB bolts so as per you can check here this ISCB bolt only has three pins yes the pin in the middle is the voltage input and each one of the side of the pins of um, from both sides one pin is will going to make the throttle bulb open it and the other pin will make the throttle bulb completely closed so i'm going to make the connections here really quickly to show you how to connect this ISB bulb to this device and then i'm going to show you where is the throttle bulb in order that you can double check how we can diagnose this using this kind of device so for this we will need only all these cables that I already placed here with this device comes 
together with this device. So you you don't know you do not have to worry to buy for purchasing different cables. All these cables are included in the purchasing of this device, just for your reference. Okay, so one line that I'm going to place here is the line that is not, is called power out. This means that this line will will be the input bolt, the voltage input of this ISB bolt. So I'm going to connect here this line just for making the connection really easy. I'm going to connect this other line. Remember that all these cables come together with the device. So you will find all these cables available in the same package. So as per you can check, I only connect in the middle one, the red one, just for making reference that this one is the voltage input and the other ones that is going, the same nuts that are going to be switching using this device. So only, I only have to connect the positive line here. I just have to connect here, that's it. And I'm going to use this other line from this device that is called a coil drive. This is the line that I am going to use to switch in this throttle bulb, switching from one signal to another signal, okay? So, for this testing of this kind of device, I'm going to change 5% of duty cycle. I'm going to increase this percentage. Maybe I'm going to let this percentage in 50%, just to make a visual appreciation of how this ISCB bulb works. So, the next step, I am going to show you I am going to show you here that here inside this hole is located the throttle bulb. Okay, so I'm going to place the coil line in this part and just to double check. Okay, this pin from this side is making the throttle body completely the throttle bulb completely open. So you can double check here. You can double check here. That using this sign of this pin of this side, the throttle bulb will be completely open. It. So I'm going to disconnect this pin and I'm going to connect the other pin. Just to double check, let me double check first. Of course, this throttle bulb inside using this pin of this signal, this throttle bulb is completely closed. As per, maybe you can double check here, in the inside, you can double check that using this signal of this side, the throttle bulb will be completely closed, okay? So this is the way that we can ensure that from the mechanic point of view, this device is working with any problem. So as per you can check, you can prove any kind of ISCB bulb that you will find in the motorcycles. So this is the video that I, uh, I prepare for you right now. Uh, I'm going to prepare you uh, another videos, one video using this device for testing injectors, another video uh, using the same device for testing uh, ignition coils. So thank you so much for your, for your attention and I wish you a good day.